You treat yourself. Okay, one more. I won! <laughs> Alright, I'm out. You guys can graduate. They don't teach that in school. Not like that. They don't teach that in elementary school? Oh, well, they do. I can't remember. Okay, Renzia, Scotty. Uh, I'm checking the check. Can I do it again? Give a piece of There's more over here, guys. Okay, Lindsay, pick a, pick a three digit number, Lindsay. Uh, 953. Okay, now I'm going to pick the second number. Let's see, 143. Same number again? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you guys are all over Stop doing that. Is there a reason why you keep using 143? Yes. That's what I thought. Are you videotaping, Patrick? Okay. Let me explain how this works, you guys. That's so good. I had to the first time. My method is supposed to be quicker. Here's how I do it. In my mind, I write, I write that number out twice because if I multiply it out twice, what I've multiplied by is a thousand and one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And a thousand and one is equal to 143 times seven. So when they're multiplying by 143, I, I multiply by 1,001 1, and then I divide by seven in my head because if I divide by seven, that's the same as multiplying by 143. So I divide, I divide this number by 7. And I have to picture this on the board twice. I don't want to write it there. It gives it away. So it's supposed to be faster. How do you divide that number by 7, though, that fast? Well, you have to I mean, that's not That's not as hard as adding them. Yeah, it's I don't fast. think it's as hard as adding them and multiplying like that. But the first time I just totally messed up. I, I don't know. Too much pressure, too much stress, too much expectation out there. Thank you very much, Patrick. Maybe we'll uh, 